life and times of Jim Beckworth, frontiersman, businessman, and adventurer. He was quite a character. His contributions were far and, and many to the state of California and allowed a lot of people to come in. A lot of people prospered from the gold rush. He opened several trading posts between Los Angeles and the Canadian border. Hi, my name is Rick Carty and I'm here with the uh, James P. Beckworth exhibit. We're here to bring awareness to the contributions that African American people have brought to the state of California. James P. Beckworth has been a very important figure in the state for the state of California. He was born in 1798 in Frederick County, Virginia to an uh, sl African American slave mother and an English father, white English father. Before his father died, or he, his father wrote him his emancipation paper so that he would not be mistaken for a runaway slave. He, he entered California uh, in uh, Southern California, in the LA area, LA, LA County. He worked his way up the state and ended up here in Northern California. He was out tra uh, trapping one day when he came across a Crow War Party. They captured him, but they didn't harm him because he had a, a certain mark on his body, a birthmark of some sort, which made them believe that he was the long lost son of one of their war chiefs. They took him in, took him back to their campsite, order, and they kept him for eight years. He stayed with them for eight years. He actually became a Crow warrior chief with the Crow Indians. With, while he was staying with them, he learned a lot of things about nature and how to discover natural passes. So one year, in 1851, he was on another expedition at a higher elevation in the Sierra Mountains, and he noticed off in the distance what looked like a natural path. He came back later and discovered this pass. It was a low, the lowest elevation pass into the state of California to this day. So he started traveling that pass, and eventually he, he developed the path all the way through to Lake Oroville, where, which was actually uh, Bidwell's uh, mining camp. He opened up the trading post. It was also a hotel and his ranch. And the city, the town of Beckworth was, was developed and is still standing today. This is the oldest building that's still standing in the state of California, built by an African American. Um, because of his discovery of this trail, a lot of people came into California much safer than the Donna Party fared in 1846 to 1849 or something, I think it was. In 1851, he brought his first wagon train through his past. It carried a 10-year-old girl named Ina Coolbreth. She was the first poet laureate of the state of California. And years later, she wrote about that experience, describing how he told her mother that he wanted her to be the first one to travel into the state of California on his pass. And before he crossed in, he said, this is California, young lady. This is your kingdom. And she was riding in front of him on the source. So she was the first person to cross on the Beckworth Pass into Cal the state of California. His contributions, like I said, were far and, and many to the state of California and allowed a lot of people to come in. A lot of people prospered. And that's pretty much his history. But they, you can find out more about him online anywhere. Uh, his book by Thomas uh, D. Bonner is, is called uh, The Life and Times of Jim Beckworth, Frontiersman, Businessman, and Adventurer. Thank you.